Hey guys, welcome to Nine Links. This is your host Alex. Uh, today I'm just gonna do a little um, remedy uh, to kill some uh, bugs in my um, Chinese perfume tree. So uh, these two now has been out here. I don't know if you watched my previous video. Uh, the growth has been very slow, and with springtime and the weather getting warmer and good enough nutrients in there they should not grow that slow. So I'm afraid that they probably have some fungus gnats and um, larvae down there or some kind of worms down there. Well, you know, just... So we're gonna use this um, more of an organic approach. Uh, well, no, I mean, this doesn't hurt the plants, let's put it that way. It's a hydrogen peroxide, 3%. If you do use this, uh, make sure you use it 3%. Any higher will basically cause harm to the plant, okay? This one, 3% is not that not that uh, high dosage, and at the same time, um, hydrogen uh, peroxide will just turn into you know like uh, oxygen in, in there in the roots, and it actually helps the plant grow the roots down there. Now, I typically do not use this for plant all the time. Uh, most of the time, I would use it during like uh, winter time when I try to bring it in indoor. So I make sure I soak all. I mean. I, like uh, almost all the plants, I dump these into it. Just kill the uh, any kind of larvae or eggs uh, stuff that's inside soil, so I don't bring pests inside of the um, house to hibernate over the uh, winter. So I just basically clean that and then bring them outside in the springtime. However, if I do see some plants not doing well, and I can probably, you know, have a little suspicious of uh, you know any kind of. Uh, small uh, larvae or something eating the roots down there that's why I'm causing it not to grow as well it's kind of like a stun so and um, doesn't hurt the plant so I'm gonna give this uh, this to uh, this one is a jasmine propagate uh, propagated cutting and this one is a Chinese perfume tree Aglaia odorata now I typically don't recommend like to go pour this into a you know as a regular practice uh, you know because plants they do need microbes and inside the soil and sometimes the plants pots they do have worms and stuff in it like beneficial worms so you don't want to kill it kill them okay so just leave them uh, in there and uh, I only do it when the plants in stress or something's not right then I go ahead and uh, take this initiative okay so I'm gonna open the bottle real quick and uh, if, if I mean if you're doing it too in the future uh, if you're worried that three percent might be too strong you can do uh, one part hydrogen peroxide in one part water or half part water dilute a little bit and also hydrogen peroxide you can uh, dilute the water I use uh, one part hydrogen peroxide to uh, about about three part water and then uh, just use this to spray on the leaves and stuff to uh, to sometimes just you know kill any kind of fungus uh, fungus or bacteria on the leaf okay and give me one second let me open this and how do you dump it in just uh, just like regular uh, and also, hydrogen peroxide hates heat and the sunlight. So when you open it up, do keep in mind, if you don't use it at all, seal it, put it in a damp place, uh, you know, like the, below the kitchen sink or somewhere. Don't put it in the garage where it's hot. And um, also, don't put it outdoor. Just leave it out here uh, in the sunlight because uh, sun will cause a reaction with hydrogen peroxide. By the time, next time you use it, there are only water in there, okay? so. Now you might ask, uh, if you think there are larvae and stuff down there, you know, fungus gnats and stuff, wouldn't you use a pesticide for it? Uh, I won't go as far as to using a pesticide. Uh, I don't know what your belief is, but um, my belief is that um, pesticides uh, actually cause more stress to the plants than actually helping it. Um, yeah, it does kill the bugs for sure, but um, it will still cause harm to the plants as well. And as you can see, it's all bubbling right now. I don't know if you can focus it in. It's all bubbling right now. That's a natural process of hydrogen peroxide breaking down. And uh, it that's the process where it kills bacteria and, my, of course, uh, beneficial any kind of microbes in there as well. And that's the process that kills the uh, bugs, the uh, larvae and stuff. Now, if you have beetles and stuff in there, for example, hydrogen peroxide is not enough to kill it. This is more for small bugs and stuff, okay? All right, so we're going to do this today. And... Uh, I'm probably going to do that again tomorrow. So 
twice and then watch how this one if after doing that and this grows really well I mean you can definitely tell a plant that's growing naturally and the plant that's growing is done like this one has been growing like this for for a while now it's kind of stuck while on over here you see like jasmine over there I just here let me see if I can focus it in mm. jasmine over here um, I pruned it last time and it's already you know you see all those new leaves are growing huge and um, you know all growing all over the place so that means it's doing well and I occasionally see some mushrooms popping up in there which is just telling me that the soil is very um, uh, rich it's uh, very organically rich and it, it's, mushroom is a good sign but just make, keep an eye on the uh, colorful mushroom that's not good that's a poison mushroom okay this brown gray mushrooms is usually a good sign which is also mushroom uh, has uh, those uh, mycelium uh, they help the plant roots uh, gather nutrients okay all right anyway so I'll just leave it out here and uh, yeah again hydrogen peroxide sometimes you don't need the um, those pesticides and stuff all right I'll see you next time take care